so this is the fifth question on four variable k map so again it is the boolean expression is given in terms of the min term values uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 11 13 and 14 so we have the format of the four variable k map ready with the respective cells marked and the horizontal and vertical variables represented so now we have to map the boolean expression mark the respective cells as one which is given here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 11 13 and 14 okay so we have marked the respective cells now we have to form groups so as per the rules of group formation so a group can accommodate 1 2 4 8 16 to the power n cells adjacent cells should be grouped maximum number of adjacent cells should be accommodated and minimum number of groups should be formed no cells should be left behind marked cell so here you see the cells 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 they are all adjacent to each other and these eight cells can be grouped together to form an octet to form an octet okay these eight cells again these two cells 5 and 13 6 and 14 can be grouped to form pairs and these two cells to form pairs again cells 3 and 11 can be paired to form another group so total one octet and three pairs total four groups are there so now grouping is done we have to identify the common variables okay first let us consider this big group the octet so let us find the common variable for it one 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 and one the horizontal variables a bar b bar a bar b the vertical c bar d bar c bar d c d and c d bar so you can see that uh, in the horizontal side we have a bar b bar a bar b so a bar is common from the horizontal side a bar a bar is common in the vertical side we have c bar d bar c bar d up to this point c bar is common again we have cd so it is changing cd dd is common in these two here is cd and cd bar cc is common so there is nothing common in the four cells combined together from the vertical side only in the horizontal side we have a bar common so for this octet the common variable is a bar for group one so the first group common variable is a bar now for the second group which is all our remaining are pairs so let us consider this pair okay one and one the horizontal components a bar b a b 
vertical component is C bar D. So you see from the horizontal side we have only B common in both the horizontal components B and in the vertical side we have C bar D common in both the cells so B C bar D for group 2 the second group which is a pair so it is B C bar D B C bar D ok now for the third group which is also a pair let's consider this which is again 1 1 a bar b a b it is c d bar so again we have b is common in the horizontal side c d bar common on the vertical side so it is b c d bar for group 3 the common variable so it is b c d bar b c d bar now we have this uh, pair which is here and here let's see so here the horizontal components a bar b bar a b bar and c d so here you see in the horizontal side we have b bar common and in the vertical side we have c d common so b bar c d b bar c d is the common variable for group 4 b bar c d so the final common set of variables for the final group which is a pair is b bar c d so this is the simplified boolean expression for this given sop expression given in terms of min terms okay min term values so we have simplified it and we got this result so all you have to do map the uh, respective cells carefully then form the groups following the rules of group formation and then identify the common variables okay so this is the sixth question related to sop uh, k map simplification of boolean expression so here again we have this boolean expression this function which is given in terms of the min term values and uh, we have the format of the k map ready so simple we will plot will map the function and then form groups so the min term values are 0 2 4 7 8 10 12 and 13 okay so 0 2 4 7 8 10 12 and 13 okay so here again we will have to form groups following the rules of group formation so here you see these four cells marked as 0 4 12 and 8 they are adjacent to each other so we can form a quad grouping these four adjacent cells together okay then you notice cell number 0 2 10 and 8 at the four corners of this k map table we can combine these four to form another quad sorry yes 
okay these four corner cells can also be combined i have also mentioned this uh, thing in a the grouping group formation uh, video that the different ways in which we can form groups so this is also one way of forming group the four corners corner cells of this k map table okay so this is one group then we have these two cells these two cells cells uh, 12 and 13 we can combine them to form a pair and see this is an interesting case this cell has no adjacent cell which is marked okay this cell has no adjacent cell which is marked so we have to only form a group with this single cell now here do not do this mistake that let me show it here this is cell number 13 and this is cell number 7 this is 1 this is 1 do not form a group like this it is wrong only adjacent cells top and bottom left hand and right hand side adjacent cells can only be grouped so don't form a group like this so this group will only consist of one cell a single okay single pair quad octet then 16 group uh, member cell like that so all the group formations are done now we have to identify the common variables so first let us consider this quad this quad okay 0 4 12 and 8 we'll find the common variable so bar b bar a bar b a b a b bar and the vertical component is c bar t bar so you can see in the uh, horizontal components nothing is common you see nothing is common in this entire quad nothing is common everything is changing as we go down a bar b bar then a bar b until this point a bar is common then again it is changing to a then in these two b is common again it is changing to b bar so there is nothing fixed but in the vertical components c bar d bar is fixed throughout c bar d bar is fixed so in this first group this quad the common variables are the vertical component that is c bar d bar so the one of the parts of the simplified boolean expression will be c bar t bar okay now let us consider the second group these four corner cells forming quad 0 2 8 and 10 okay okay so let us write the horizontal and vertical components a bar b bar and a b bar then c bar d bar and c d bar this quad okay <clears throat> now let us compare the horizontal and vertical components here at the horizontal components you can see in these two b bar is the common variable here also there is b bar here also there is b bar okay so definitely b bar will be there in the vertical side we have d bar 
which is common in both the components so d bar will be there so for this second group this quad involving the four corner cells b bar d bar is the common group of the common set of variables so this will also be part of the simplified boolean expression b bar d bar okay now our uh, only one pair and single group is remaining okay for this pair for this pair horizontal variable a b vertical variables are c bar d bar c bar d so you see for this pair in the horizontal side ab is common in both these cells ab is common okay ab is common in both these cells so definitely ab will be there in the vertical side c bar is common in both these components c bar so c bar will also be there so for this third group which is this pair a b c bar is the common set of variables so it will also be part of the simplified boolean expression okay now is this single now this is very simple as it has only one um, one cell involved the whole cell will be there in the simplified boolean expression because there is nothing to find common okay there is only one cell involved in this group so this entire cell this boolean term will be there that is a bar b a bar b c d a bar b c d for this okay so this is the simplified boolean expression for this given boolean expression okay so this is the sixth question okay